an eight-month cat-and-mouse game is over. The man alleged to be behind the wheel in a hit-and-run on Dixie Highway in Florence is now in jail. The hardest part for detectives was finding the man they say was using multiple identities, hopping from state to state. Oftentimes, when you have family, you may run away but you come back because the safest place you feel like you can be is your family. Major Rigel says a special task force found Giovanni Mendez along with his fiance and their two children through a tip. Both had multiple fake IDs and she had social security cards. The documents and the information contained within those did not come back to a physical person. It was just more of a randomization of numbers on a document. During his stint, he lived in Ohio, Tennessee and North Carolina. It's important for us to try to figure out how somebody could live under the auspice of fraud and still operate amongst our society, especially when somebody's being pursued to the degree that he was. Rigel says investigators spoke with the fiance early on in their search. He adds the task force won't be charging her with aiding Mendez, partly because he says it would be too hard to prove. He may have come home from time to time, we didn't know about it. Mendez was also likely to be intoxicated during the crash since police found alcohol in his truck at that time. Rigel says they had all the evidence to charge Mendez, but had to find him first. We hope that this investigation and the pursuit that came thereafter provides some form of closure. We're told the victim's family knows about the arrest. Now, we would have liked to have contacted them, but we're told there'd be a language barrier. Investigators are using a translator to relay any information. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.